to continue our discussion, our ongoing discussion, on formatting your posts here in WordPress, I have to show you something called the Kitchen Sink Toolbar. That is the actual name of the toolbar, believe it or not. The Kitchen Sink Toolbar. So check this out. All right, I'm inside my What is Flash post. I'm still inside the same post that you and I have been working on. And what's really cool here is this formatting toolbar here, which is kind of plain and boring to look at. The very last icon, show hide the kitchen sink. So go ahead and click on that guy and you get this extra formatting toolbar that shows up. This is the kitchen sink, right? And if you want, you can turn it on and shut it off. It's just a toggle. That's all there is to it. It's pretty easy stuff. Okay, so what options do we have on our kitchen sink toolbar? Well, first of all, what we can do is we can set the format for a particular piece of content. So we can format it as a paragraph, as address pre-formatted, or a heading one all the way down through heading six. So once again, if you know your HTML, your Dreamweaver, your web design, this stuff would be familiar to you. These are HTML block levels, right? So for example, I might come along and say, all right, this piece of text here, here's a few other things you can do with Flash. Well, maybe I wanna format that as a heading. Maybe, I don't know, maybe a heading four or a heading two or something like that, right? So you can certainly do that. You'll see how this plays out in a second. Then I can underline text, but I wouldn't really recommend that you underline text because visitors are going to think that a piece of underlined text is a hyperlink and they won't be able to click on it and they'll get frustrated and then they'll write a blog post on their blog about how bad your blog is and it's just all bad. So avoid that icon. All right. You also have a full align or a justification icon there, a justified alignment there if you want. Uh, you can set your color for your text if you wish certainly do that. And then these next two icons I like quite a bit, paste as plain text and paste from Word. So in other words, if you select content from Word, paragraphs and so on, and paste it into a new WordPress blog post, you might get some funky formatting, you might be missing some content and so on, so you can always paste from Word. But this first guy here I use all the time, paste as plain text. You get just plain raw text that you can then format here inside WordPress. So hopefully all good. You can clear your formatting if you want. You can insert media. And you've got indents and so on. And you can also, there's your, a lot of times people ask, where's the undo <laughs> inside WordPress? There it is right there on the kitchen sink toolbar. And I conveniently skipped over this fella here because I want to show you this guy, inserting custom characters. Again, a lot of times people will ask me, hey, how do I do accented characters? Or, you know, I want the trademark symbol, the TM in there or a copyright symbol or whatever. This is how you do it. So let me show you this. I'm just going to scroll down a little bit. Down towards the bottom of my post and I mention Adobe. And whenever you see Adobe, it always has that restricted symbol after it. So let's go and do that here on our post. So I'll just drop my cursor inside my text where I want the special character to show up. This is like right out of word processing, right? Word processing 101. Drop your cursor where you want the content, right? And then I'm going to click on this little doodad here. And that throws me into this screen here, this little pop-up here. You can actually drag them around a little bit if you want. Whatever. And then come in here and go and find the character, the special character. Could be an accented character or, you know, who the heck knows, whatever it is that you're after. Go and find that fella. Well, for us, it's the restricted symbol, right? So I'm going to click on that guy. And that simply dumps the special character into the content where my cursor was. That's all there is to it, right? It's super easy stuff. So hopefully no worries there. So there it is. There's your kitchen sink toolbar. Of course, the last icon there, help. I kind of skipped over that one. That's kind of easy, but that's kind of the idea. And it's all about the toggle, right? On and off. So you can keep this guy turned on permanently if you want. And let's really quickly go and preview our changes because we made a heading change there and we threw in a special character. So I'll save my draft. Let's go and preview our changes. And there's our heading, that's a heading four. So depending on your theme, the size of the heading, the formatting and the look of the heading may change. So you might have to experiment there a little bit if you decide to use those. And there's my registered symbol right after Adobe. So there you go, there's the kitchen sink. All you need is a ham sandwich now. <laughs>